Hey everybody, it's already the seventh day of our 20 day challenge. I'm super glad that you made it in here and I hope that you will continue. It's just 13 days more to go and you will be done in one month and that means that your web page will be great and bringing much more business afterwards. So stay with me. <laughs> Today we will be doing a little more testing. I know that you already tested a little bit your web page yesterday because we did this 10 second, 10 second test, right? Um, but today we will be more focusing into little deeper questions so you can find uh, bigger obstacles maybe or bigger opportunities on your web page. What should you improve? Today you will have kind of easy job. Because basically you will be just sending a few emails or a few messages to people who you know and who could help you to give you some feedback on your web page. So the job will be more up to them rather than you and you will be just waiting for their answers. That's kind of nice, isn't it? This process is called user testing. Basically, this is happening from few hours to few days because it's much, much deeper and longer process. So for you right now, there is just a short version of this thing. So you can get just a few ideas from the people who you know. And these ideas could be actually good for you again to improve your web page to make the user journey much, much easier, which is again going to bring you much higher results from your web page. How to do it? Well, basically just sit behind your laptop, open your email and write an email to your friends, colleagues, whoever you know that don't know your web page that well. Okay, that's important actually. And you can promise them to, I don't know, have a beer later on, invite them for a beer, buy for them a chocolate or whatever you want to. <laughs> and just ask for like 15 minutes of their time. Um, well, basically you should write in there a few questions. I can give you, well, I will give you these questions or you can actually just get inspired by it and you can write it on your own. That's up to you. Um, the easiest way is just to copy paste the questions I'm just telling you. Well, basically the first question should be uh, to ask them to go on your web page. And then I know that we did this yesterday, but it's also good to actually ask the people once again because you have more uh, feedback on it. And the question is, what is the web page about? Second question or a task for your tester should be about, again, going to your web page, www.yourwebpage.com and buy some specific product of yours or just send an inquiry. Yeah? And then you can ask them to be more specific. Uh, what did you do? How was it? What issues did you have? In this case, you can find out how they were behaving, what they did uh, when they were ordering a product or when they were trying to contact you. And what is the third question? Well, ask them what are the main benefits, why they should buy a product from your web page or why should contact you on your web page. In this case, um, you can see if the benefit, benefits you are thinking you have, you really do have and your potential customers can really see it. The last fourth question is more about the feelings. So there is not a right or wrong answer to it, but you should basically ask them what were your feelings from the web page. Why? Because here you can see uh, how the people are observing your design, the process itself, what they feel when they are shopping, what are their feelings. It's also very important because feelings can sell your product, right? Ask them about the, let's say, technical part of the whole testing. Ask them what browsers they were using, what the mobile device or generally what device they were using. You can see if they were using a mobile phone or a desktop or laptop, for instance. But also ask them about the time. When were they doing it? The reason behind is that from the previous videos, you should have uh, switched on all your recordings and heat maps and scroll maps. 
and you can actually connect it. If you know the exact time when they were doing it, you can connect it with an exact record, which is also good because in that case, you can literally see it, what they were doing. Are you thinking how many people you should approach? Well, it should be approximately five people. That's the best number. Three is too low, 10 is too much. So the five is uh, good enough. If you get four answers, it's also nice. So now we just send those emails, messages, calls, whatever, contact these people. And then you can continue to do your regular work or just lie on the bed and wait for the answers. Hopefully they will answer. If not, write them once again or contact different people. And I will be looking forward to see you actually tomorrow in the next video. So have a nice rest of the day and good luck with the answers.